Treat yourself like you matter. Talk to yourself like you would your best friends. Think about, think about how you talk to other people. You know, think about if you're watching this video, if you're a fan of this channel, you are probably pouring into so many people. You're giving them love, you're giving them encouragement, you're giving them belief, you're telling them they can do anything, right? Your friends, even, heck, even strangers on social media, you're probably telling them that they can do things, right? You're believing in them, you're giving them confidence. But then what happens? You go home, you look in the mirror, and you're just telling yourself all the reasons why you can't do something. That voice inside your own head sucks, right? Telling yourself that you can't make it, that someone like you is never gonna do it. We don't treat ourselves with the same level of compassion, empathy that we have for other people. You wouldn't talk to your worst enemy the way that you talk to yourself. And that's a big problem. I think that needs to shift, that needs to change. Because as long as you keep talking to yourself like you're a piece of garbage, then you're never gonna accomplish anything great. We have to start to shift it. I had a whole bunch of issues in how I talked to myself. Um, I used to say, well, I'm, I'm too shy, I'm too introvert, I'm, Nobody's gonna to wanna to hear my story, my message doesn't matter, who am I to go off and do this? I have to have a huge ego, even to, I'm sitting here filming in a parking lot, like I would, I would never do this. Only, only people with giant egos and uh, loud mouths would ever do that, right? I'm still working to unwind all of that. But the more you can catch it, and the more you can shift it, it allows you to go off and do great things, not just for yourself, but for other people. Because if you fast forward, if the way you've been talking to yourself for the past couple of years continues to be the way that you talk to yourself for the rest of your life, nothing changes. So how do we shift? How do we get to a point where, hey, we're actually saying <laughs> better things about ourselves? Number one is you have to catch the voice. You know, what is the negative voice? What are you saying to yourself? Because a lot of it are just, it's not intentional. You know, it's these automatic thoughts. It's the subconscious thoughts. You come up with an idea of what you can do and immediately you shut yourself down without even noticing it. Just, it's a default nature. Instantly, boom, no, I can't do that. No, you suck, you can't do that. So what are the negative thoughts that are coming up in your mind? And just trying to catch it. Number two is whatever you want to have more of, you need to create that in your life. You need to create the habits and routines to have more of it in your life. So for me, I, I want more belief, right? And I go through this whole process of how to figure out your most important core value or your one word. You can pick up your one word or build the serve, it'll walk you through it. What do you need more of in your life? I need more belief. And as much as I'm trying to spread that to the world with the videos and everything I make, I also need more of it myself. I need more belief for myself. And so what helps me believe in myself? Well, I try to design a life and an environment to help bring that out more. So everything from the outfit that I wear. You know, I tell myself I'm, I'm a superhero going to work. This is my Believe uniform, just like Batman puts on his costume. From what my office looks like and the pictures on my wall, I've got my parents on my wall and looking at them reminds me of the message that my mom would always give me that I'm Advocate Shirley Carmichael, I can do anything and believe that I can. Uh, the videos that I make, the, the main channel, the top 10 channel, this channel, all the content that I make is designed to help me believe in myself more. That's what helps me come alive. Um, service, you know, thinking about how what I'm gonna do will have an impact on somebody else besides me, helps me have the courage to go off and chase down the goals that I have for myself. So what is it that makes you come alive? What do you need more of it in your life? Because you're probably not getting enough of it, right? The thing that you need more in your life, you're not, you're not getting enough of it right now. That's why that negative voice is so powerful and default. So think about the people who you're hanging around and the media you're consuming, all of it. You're not getting enough of the thing that you need. So how do you get more of that thing and engineer it, design it so that it's part of your daily calendar, that's not randomly happening in your life, but it's with intent, must happen every day. So number one is catching that voice. What is that voice? Number two is designing that environment and the habits and the routines for yourself so that you're around it constantly. You're changing our environment to be around the thing that you know that you want to be. And then number three is empower people to pull you out of the matrix. You know, empower people to call you out. Empower people to give you feedback. Some of my favorite ways to do it, uh, whenever I'm going to an event or whatever I'm talking to somebody I respect, 
and I need some help, input, guidance, feedback, I'll say, tell me why I suck. Tell me why I suck at this thing. Why do I suck at this? Like, how do I get better? And when I do that, it's because they, they give me their honest feedback. You know, when, when you just ask for feedback, people will be afraid of hurting your feelings and you won't get the full info. So I say, tell me why I suck. And they say, well, you don't suck, but here's what you need to fix. Um, I empower the people around me that if I say scary, difficult, or hard, then I have to go off and do the thing just because I said scary, difficult, or hard. I don't want to be the person who plays small. So my son in particular loves this one, right? It's like, Dad, you did it. You said scary. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, now I have to go off and do it. What are your trigger words? What are the things that make you stay small? And then empower the people around you to call you out on it so that when you don't catch it, because you won't catch it most of the time, you won't catch it, but when you can't catch it and somebody else can, not being defensive and not uh, putting our guard up and realizing that, hey, this behavior is keeping me stuck. Empowering the people around you to give you the feedback, to pull you out of the matrix, so you can start turning what's subconscious to conscious. If you feel like you're a little bit stuck, if you feel like you know you want to do more and you're capable of more and you want to serve more and help more and you know that you've got this voice inside you that's keeping you there and you're struggling with how do I get it from subconscious and automatic negative to subconscious and automatic positive, everything starts to change. You have to treat yourself like you matter. Just imagine that you were actually your own best friend. Just imagine that you came to you with the problems that you're facing. What would you tell yourself? It's probably gonna be something loving, something encouraging, something powerful, something positive, not the words that you're actually using to talk to yourself. This doesn't change in a, in a day, you know? It doesn't change in an instant. It's a process. But if every day, day by day, you can slowly start to believe in yourself more, empower yourself more, talk to yourself in a better way, you're gonna create a much better life for yourself and then you can pay it forward and help others. Because no matter what words you say, no matter how much you tell people to be positive, again, you're here watching this, you are the most positive person in your, in your family, you're pouring into other people. No matter how much words you use, what will be inspired by most is your action. No matter how much you say, hey, love yourself, make this happen, I believe in you. If they see you not believing in yourself, not taking the action you need to take, they'll never be inspired to do it themselves either. They'll be most inspired by the actions that you take when you're afraid and you doubt yourself too. It's time to make a change. Let's make that change today. If you want another Evan Rant video that just might give you the confidence you need, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. You are what you consistently do. It's not what you do some of the times. It's not what you do when you feel motivated or you had enough sleep or that it's the perfect conditions out there. You are what you consistently do.